Hi folks, I'm currently sitting in my car at 4 degrees outside and I'm doing a wee rant about I've owned my Model S now for two years and I've put a deposit on a Model 3 and I'll tell you my reasons why. Um, at the moment there's three choices for a Model 3. The standard range plus, which is got, supposed to have a range of 254 miles, a 0 to 60 time of 5.3 seconds. Um, and you get that on the road is £39,490. Um, the next level up from that is a uh, long range it's called, that's the four wheel drive version, whereas the short range plus was only rear wheel drive. Um, it's got a range of 348 miles, a 0 to 60 and 4.4 and an on the road price of £49,990. Um, the top of the range model is called the Model 3 Performance, that's um, £52,990, it's got a range of 329 miles, a 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds. It's also got 20 inch wheels, larger brakes, um, forward suspension and track mode. There's no other electric car that I really want. You've got the Kona EV, which looks quite ordinary. I did consider it, but I think they want about £35,000. And it's got a lot of gadgets in it, heads up display and stuff like that. Um, but I don't think it, ex it doesn't excite me. Um, the same with the Kona. The Kona looks better, in my opinion, but it's a lot of money, 35 grand. Whereas for another five grand, I've got a Tesla with the supercharger network and all the software updates and the continual improvements and it's more efficient. Um, I think Tesla is like miles ahead of the competition. And 2020 is going to be a big year for electric vehicle releases, but the other cars are considered with the Mini, the new electric Mini, the wife doesn't like it, said it's a girly car, um, um, and the range isn't that good. I like the Honda EV, but wife doesn't like that either, um, but they're more like city cars. Um, there's like nothing, even the Volkswagen ID that's coming out. It's alright, but it doesn't really float my boat. Um, I don't know, it's just Tesla seem to have some. Um, their cars look nicer. Um, they've got the autopilot. I oh, know, I've got the basic oil, autopilot in my car, which is brilliant. Um, I just think um, there's nothing really out there. I wanted a Model S two years ago. Um, I couldn't wait for the Model 3 to come and I put my money down on a Model S and I must admit I love the car to bits. But now that I've had it two years, I know everything about Tesla. I've experienced it and I'm one of these people. I can go from a Tesla and then go and buy a car at 500 quid and I'd still be happy. I can go from one extreme to another and uh, I can spend a fortune on a car and then the next car I get will be an absolute dog. So um, I've done it before, I, had, I bought a Subaru Impreza Turbo and then I went from that to a smart car. Uh, that's just the way I am and uh, now that I've had the Tesla for two years I could honestly change it for something else although I have says that I would never go back to a petrol car again um, I love the electric driving experience the regen braking the preheating of the car in the winter you, you just can't go back. another reason why I'm going for the Model 3 is because this car jack can charge up to 120 kilowatts 130 kilowatts say uh, but the Model 3 once they bring out the, the next generation of superchargers, it's going to be able to charge up to uh, 250 kilowatts, which is unbelievable. Um, so, yet again, the Model 3's got a better battery chemistry and different cell structure than my car. 
So even though the Model 3 is cheaper than my car, um, and it's touted as like the ba a basic model to the Model S, it's got everything in it that's better. It's got a better battery, it's got better range, it's got better efficiency, it's got all the latest updates. Um, it's like these cars are like mobile phones and my car is getting left behind big time. And as I said, I'm not happy about that. I'd rather get um, a newer one, if possible. Suppose one of the advantages I've got with my car is when I bought this, I've got free supercharging for life. And I'm about to undertake a trip down to Luton to visit some relatives and it won't cost me a penny. The great thing about Teslas is you get over free over the air software updates without having to pay a penny and the car gets just gets better and better adding new features all the time unfortunately um, it seems like lately uh, all the good stuff's going to all the latest cars and cause mines is only two years old um, I'm not getting half the stuff that the new cars are getting and it's really to be honest pissing me off um, you know paid a lot of money for this car it's only two years old and yet I'm not getting features that Cheap, the cheaper new cars are getting um, and definitely feel that I'm getting left behind. Another thing that the latest cars are getting is uh, Netflix, able to watch Netflix uh, when you're parked somewhere and my car's not getting that either. It's another um, my computer isn't fast enough in the car or whatever. The Model 3 is more efficient. Um, it's got all the latest hardware for uh, fully autonomous driving. My car uh, the cameras in it are black and white. The new Model 3 is all colour cameras. I've got a sentry mode in the car, but um, you can't actually download the footage on your memory stick. It goes back to Tesla, but I can't access it. But on the later cars, you can put a memory stick in and download all the data and watch video footage of people that looking in your car or damaging your car. On my car, you can have the car in creep mode, which means that it acts like a traditional automatic car. Um, when you're coming up to a junction, um, the car will regen brake right down to about 8 miles an hour. And then it will slowly roll forward and until you put your foot on the brake pedal and bring the car to a stop. Well, they've just introduced a one pedal driving mode on the cars, which my car isn't getting. And um, what that means is the car will regen right down to almost zero miles per hour and actually apply the brakes so very smoothly, it seems. And basically what it means is uh, you've got true one pedal driving. Now the Nissan Leaf, I've, ha I've had that for a while and it's took Tesla a while to catch up to the Nissan Leaf. But basically it means you can drive the car without touching your brake pedal whatsoever. You only use your brake pedal in an emergency. And everyone that's got it said it's absolutely fantastic and amazing, but I'm not getting it in my car. So that's another reason um, I want to change. One of the latest updates I've done on the car is um, increased the performance on all the Model 3s and the latest Model S's and X's. And my car doesn't qualify because the latest cars are called the Raven Editions, and that means it uses a Model 3 drive motor in the drivetrain and my car hasn't got that so I don't get a 5% power increase and then I started looking at uh, the Model 3 uh, Standard Range Plus which is £9,000 cheaper uh, than the Long Range and then I started questioning myself to say why don't I get that? The other thing about the Model 3 I've noticed is it's got an onboard 11 kilowatt charger well, my Model S has got an 18 kilowatt onboard charger, and that makes a difference when I'm charging at public chargers and I'm not using like rapid chargers. Um, at least my Model S will charge a lot quicker than sitting in a Model 3 with just 11 kilowatts. The long range Model 3's got similar performance to my car at the moment. Mine's has got a 0 60 and 4.2. And they say the long range is 4.4, .4, but Tesla uh, have just announced a, a power upgrade for all Model 3s and the latest um, Model S's. 
and my car isn't included in that so it means that realistically the Model S is either the same performance as my car or even maybe slightly quicker. Then I thought um, get the long range Model 3 in white. White's a free colour by the way and when I bought my uh, Model S white Perro multi coat they were charging a thousand five hundred pounds and I paid that because I really wanted a white car um, and now Tesla have changed it and white multi coat is now free which is unbelievable and now they're charging for the Model 3 anyway a thousand pound you have a black one my thoughts were I'd really like the Model 3 performance and then when I looked into the insurance costs they're sky high um, at the moment, my Model S, I can insure it for roughly £350. Um, but looking at the performance, um, the cheapest I found was over £600. And a hell of a lot of places are wanting well over £1,000. Um, and I think also the 20-inch wheels that come with the car are like um, summer tyres on them. Uh, and as we're coming into winter, I think... Um, that might be a bad idea plus seems to be a lot of people on the internet that have hit large potholes and whatever and the 20 inch wheels have just cracked and the tyres are like over £300 each and then once I started looking at the standard range plus things start seem to make sense um, it's £9,000 or so cheaper than the, the long range it looks exactly the same on the outside and the inside. The only things different are some of the speakers aren't activated. There's 14 speakers I think in the long ranges so five of them aren't activated. Um, you don't get a subwoofer. Uh, the map system um, you don't get satellite maps. I don't think you can get music streaming. Um, so for 9,000 and the performance is slightly um, worse. 5.3 seconds as opposed to 4.4 uh, and obviously it's just been updated the power increase 5% power increase people are saying it's down to the 5 second mark now or even the 4.9 so does £9,000 make that much of a difference so now I can't decide what I want I'm going round in circles half of me wants to the, the performance in the Model 3 performance and that's people are now saying it's down in the 2.9 second mark um, 2.8, 2.9 second mark to 60 which I'd love to have that but in reality, day to day driving you don't use it um, but I'd like to have it but the 20 inch wheels have put me off and then then my head says no, just keep what I'm getting the, stand, the long range and then my head then says, why am I paying nine grand extra to have something that looks exactly the same way? So, at the moment, I pushed the button for a long range, but <laughs> it could change. I could phone them up and say, do you know, change that to something else. Um, or I might even just keep my car. Hi folks, just uh, an update to say that totally changed my mind and now I've bought a performance model 3 performance and a video will appear just shortly telling you all about it but so far I'm happy